On a dark and stormy night, long ago, a young prince heard a knock at the palace door. Out in the pouring rain stood a raggedy old woman. Be gone, he cried. You're not welcome here. It was a mean and foolish thing to do. The old woman was a witch. <laughs> oh no! The witch has trapped the prince inside a giant rock. Tap it to help him escape. All who saw the beast ran away in terror. Soon, he was all alone in his palace. Who will love me now? He sighed. On the far side of the kingdom, there lived a rich merchant and his three beautiful daughters. The youngest, Belle, was the most beautiful of all. She was bold and adventurous, too. Belle loved to play in the woods with her dog, Max. Belle loves collecting autumn leaves. As autumn turned to winter, the merchant set off to meet his ship. I'm going to the port, he said to his daughters. What shall I bring home for you? You. I'd like a silk dress, replied the eldest daughter. Bring me jewels, asked the next. As for Belle, all she wanted was a red rose. At the port, the merchant got a nasty surprise. His ship had sunk in a storm with a heavy heart. He turned for home and walked straight into a snowstorm. The wind blew and the snow fell. Soon, the merchant was lost in a deep, dark forest. Seeing a light in the distance, he ran towards it, chased by a big, hungry wolf. Help the merchant escape from the wolf. Tap him to jump over trees and bushes. When the merchant reached the door of the palace, it swung open. Hello? He called out, but nobody answered. The merchant stepped inside. As he explored the palace, doors opened and candles magically burst into flame. Well, by now, the merchant was very tired. Seeing a comfortable chair, he sat down, and in a twinkling, he was fast asleep. When he awoke, the merchant found a table laden with delicious food. He watched in wonder as tasty treats floated magically towards him. Make the exact pies that the merchant is thinking about. First, choose a base, select a filling, then finish off with a topping. The next morning, the merchant found fine clothes and a giant breakfast waiting by his bed. By now, the storm was over, so when he had eaten, the merchant set off for home. Though it was winter, the air was filled with the, filled with the sweet smell of roses. The merchant, the merchant thought at once about Belle and decided to pick a rose for her before he left. Help find a rose for Belle. Tap the snow to open.
gave you food and a bed. How dare you pick my roses? Don't hurt me, begged the merchant. I only wanted a rose for my daughter. Go home one last time, growled the beast. But you must come back here to live with me. The beast sounded very angry, but really, he was just lonely. Back home, the merchant told his family all about the beast. I asked for the rose, said Belle, so I should go live in his palace. At first, the merchant refused, but brave Belle was determined to go. A month later, Belle stood outside the gates of the beast's palace. With tears in her eyes, she hugged her father goodbye and then walked inside. That night, Belle hid in terror when she heard the beast coming. Don't be scared, said the beast softly. This palace is now your home. As the days passed, Belle grew fond of the beast. They spent more and more time together, talking, reading, and playing games. The beast loves ping pong. Move the bat left and right to hit the ball. going. friend. Every day the beast gave Belle wonderful presents to show how much he cared. Pass the presents to Belle to see what's inside. Though Belle loved living with the beast, she missed her family. Go home, said the beast, but come back soon. I'll be so lonely without you. Before she left, the beast gave Belle a mirror and a spinning top. With this magic mirror, you can always see me. Spin the top and it will bring you straight to me. When Belle returned home, her family begged her not to return to the palace. Belle agreed to stay, but she felt bad about breaking her promise. One day, she looked into the magic mirror. The beast was lying on the floor, too sick to move. Belle suddenly realized how much she loved the beast. I must go to him, she cried, and she took out the magic top. Take Belle to the beast. Tap the magic top to make it spin faster and faster. In the spell. Thank you. Oh. 
when Bell kissed the beast, he turned back into a handsome prince. I was under a spell, he said. But you have broken it with your love. Bell, will you marry me now? This time, Bell said yes, and she and the prince lived happily ever after. Thank you.